Hey, what's up everybody? If you've watched my channel for any period of time, you'll know that one of my favorite things to do is write bash scripts. I love to play around in bash. I like to create scripts that do useful stuff, um, create scripts that do useless stuff. Um, just play around to do things with bash just to kind of get a feel for how, my, how I can control my machine and how I can just write simple scripts to automate stuff and just have fun. So. We're going to do that today. I am going to start a new project. Don't worry, those of you that are following my void install project, I am still working on that. That just grew into a way bigger beast than I was expecting, and so it's taken a little longer than I thought. But I figured in the meantime, I will do another project because you know what? Why not? Who who needs more projects than the guy who has no time, right? That would be me. So let's just go ahead and get started. So we're going to actually do a bash script that is going to build a dun -dun -dun -dun, TUI file manager or a command line file manager is basically what we're doing. Um, I'm going to write it in bash. And I'm going to use one of my favorite tools and that's FZF. Now I know there's a million different terminal file managers out there. I know there's a million different file managers in general out there. And so this isn't really something we need, but you know what? I thought it would be fun to do it. So you know what? Don't judge me. Let's do it. So let's go ahead and launch a terminal here. Uh, let's clear the screen and zoom in. And I'm just going to do it in my home directory right now. I'll create a new directory in my uh, uh, wherever I put this. If I decide to keep this or whatever, I'll probably create a repo for it. Um, but let's actually go ahead and do vim and let's make it um, we're going to use bash, we're going to use fuzzy finder, so let's do fzfm.sh. Um, so fzfm.sh, that'll work. So, uh, first thing we need to do is we need to go in insert mode and we need a shebang. So let's go shebang um, and let's go slash user slash bin slash and v bash. So if you notice, I actually have to type all this out now. I used to have a key binding, um, actually it would just be SB and it would give me my shebang with a bunch of information. But I did switch from Vim to NeoVim, and so some of my configuration hasn't been switched over yet, and I'm still working on stuff, so not quite automated there yet. But um, let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is going to be FZFM for Fuzzy File Manager. So let's create a function called FZFM, and give it open and closing parentheses and the curly braces, and let's go ahead and start it. And for starters, we need a while loop. So let's just go ahead and do while true do. And what do we want it to do? Well, for this video, I want to just at least get the interface set up. I want to be able to launch this file manager. I want to be able to navigate through this file manager. And I want to be able to have previews for this file manager uh, or preview window so I can see stuff. So that's kind of what my focus for this video is. We'll see if that actually happens or if not. Um, but that's what we want. So let's go ahead and think about this for a second. Um, we're going to use FZF again. So what I want to do is type selection. And then that's going to equal, um, let's see here, let's do LSD-A, and we're going to pipe that into FZF, and then we want to add some flags to FZF. Excuse me one second. Now, if we actually go in here and we do LS and we pipe that into FZF and hit enter, you can see this is what FCF looks like if you're not familiar with it. Now it's pretty plain and basic, but it gives you a nice list here. You get a little information, how many files or directories, but the thing is we start from the bottom and we go to the top. So what do we want to do about that? So let's go ahead and exit out of that. Um, let's actually do dash dash and say reverse. And then let's do dash dash, give it a height of 95% and hit enter. Um, as you saw, if we did that, we have the info down here um, on the left. I'd like to put it on the right. So let's do dash dash info uh, right. Um, and then let's go ahead with a prompt. We need to give it a prompt. So if we go to workspace two here, launch a terminal, zoom in and we do ranger uh, you can see we've got the pwd up here we've got the printed working directory and if we start to type we get a little thing down in the bottom down there um, we can search so i'm not going to be able to do all that um, changing of prompts and everything i might be able to in the future but i don't want to do that i want to have the search function though so let's go back to workspace one here and let's do prompt um, and let's set that to search and then let's do a border. We want to go ahead and have a border. 
and I want the border set to bold. Now there's different options you can choose for the border. You can do double, you can do bold, you can do block, you can do broken line, I believe. You can. There's just different options you can do for the border, but I wanna go ahead and go, ahead and go with bold. So we're gonna go ahead and have a bold border. Um, we also want to have a label in the border, or at least I do. So let's do border-label. And if we actually go over here to Workspace 2, let's exit out of um, Ranger and do man FZF and hit enter. And there is all kinds of stuff. If you scroll through this, all different kinds of flags, all different things you can do with FZF. It is just a great tool. Tool. You'll find out real quick if you go through this manual why I like FZF so much and why it is so popular. But let's go ahead and do border label. And what I want the border label to be is I want it to be... Um, I want it to be the directory. So let's do PWD. And then I also gotta have the slash there. And then we're gonna close that. And yeah. So the border label should print the working directory with the final slash after it. Do we need this? Eh, we'll just leave it in there. Um, so we're gonna have the border label. Um, what else do I wanna do? I want to have some key bindings to be able to move around. Now, if we go over here to Workspace 2 and we quit out of this and we do um, ls-f, or ls piped into fzf, you can see with up and down key, I can move up and down, but left and right, sorry, I don't have a screen key installed right now. I guess I could do it real quick. Um, let's go ahead and quit out of there and say sudo xbps dash install screen key. Um, yes, go ahead and do that real quick. Let's open this, exit out of there, screen key, hit enter. Um, and now I've got screen key up. So if we now do um, ls piped in that, and you can see it can move up and down. Sorry, screen key's in the way now, but you can see I'm moving up and down. Now, if I hit left and right, you can see nothing happens. Um, so I wanna be able to have that functionality. Let's go ahead and kill that now. Um, so I wanna be able to have that functionality. And you'll also see um, right here, you see how the height only goes up about halfway. Um, this height, 95%, is going to make it go pretty much all the way up to the top. So um, let's go ahead and add some key bindings now. So let's do dash dash bind. So that's gonna be able to, uh, that's gonna allow us to bind keys. Now I can, like I said, I can already do up and down. So let's do left. I want left to bind to um, moving back up. So like if we go back over here, sorry, and we launch Ranger and I'm moving through, if I hit the left key, you can see it takes me up in the um, file tree, right? It goes up to the parent directory, up to the parent directory, you know, I want that functionality. So uh, let's quit out of there, go back to workspace one. Um, left, if we want that, what we gotta do is, it doesn't really give us that option in FCF, but what we can do is we can set the position. And the position is good because if we go back over here to workspace two and we go to LS, um, actually let's escape out of that and do LS dash A because that's what we've got in our prompt right here, right? Or in our uh, selection, LS dash A, and we pipe that into FCF, you can see we've got the dot and the dot dot for current directory and upper directory. Well, FCS, FCF gives us the option in the flag to actually go to a certain position in the menu. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say POS, and then in parentheses, we're gonna say two, because if we look here, that is the second position. So we're gonna say uh, POS two, and so that's gonna actually put the pointer there, but then we also want to accept that. So we need to do left colon POS, and then two in parentheses, and then plus accept and then that should actually allow us to move up because it's going to move the pointer immediately to that second option, which is gonna be the two dots for CD dot dot for moving up. And then if we accept, that's going to be like hitting the enter key and that's gonna move us up. So now we need to bind and we'll do right uh, because like I said, left and right doesn't do, don't do anything. So now I want right to move down to the child directory in, or to open up a file or whatever else, um, instead of having to hit enter. So we're gonna do right is just gonna be accept. So now we have um, reverse. So reverse is basically instead of starting from the bottom and moving up, it's gonna start from the top and move down. So all my um, items are gonna be listed top to bottom instead of bottom to top. Height is gonna give me the full height of the, um, 
window, 90, 95% of the window. Uh, the info is going to be on the right. The prompt is going to be search. Border is going to be bold. Border label is going to be print the working directory. Uh, bind left is going to move us up to the parent directory. Bind right is going to accept to move us into the current directory or open the file depending on what we are on and what the rest of the script does. But now we have that done. Now I also am going to have um, preview set up. So I also want to be able to have movement in the preview window. So we're going to use bind again. And what we're going to use for this is shift um, dash up. I think that's it. Is that how you do it? I think so. I guess we'll find out. It's going to be preview up and then dash dash bind shift down is going to be preview down. So pretty simple. So we've got our selection, reverse, height, info, prompt, border, border label, and some key bindings. Now let's go ahead and set up the preview. So what we want to do is actually get us a preview window. So we're going to do dash dash preview window. And I want it to equal right because I want it on the right side. And I want it to be 65%. Um, and then we're going to do dash dash preview um, to actually give us what's going to happen with the preview. And with the preview, I want to do uh, cd underscore pre. So we're right now we are creating a um, basically a variable, or we're you know we're making a. Um, God, sorry, I'm having a brain fart. Um, we're actually going to say what's going to be headed. Uh, what's the header is going to be basically in the preview window. So the preview window. Excuse me. We're going to do CD pre, and then that's going to equal, and we're going to do um, dollar sign echo, and we want it to echo PWD, and then we want it to echo um, the curly braces. Yeah. Mm, I think that's it. Oops, that's a double quote. Not that there's a single quote. Um, so yeah, so basically what this is going to do is this is going to echo the current working directory, and then this echo right here with the curly braces is basically as we move our selector or our pointer through the menu, that's going to change what this is here. So whatever our pointer is on, this is what it's going to echo it here. So it's going to have the current working directory, and as we move up through our menu, it's going to change this op or this um, variable right here, or this uh, excuse me, this portion right here. So then we need to. Um, echo and then uh, and then close some uh, um, I think I was supposed to have a excuse me this is supposed to be a double quote there we go Sorry about that. So we're going to do echo folder. Um, is that? Yeah, okay. I think that's right. Yeah, anyway, echo folder. Um, and then we are going to do space and we'll do. Um, let's see. How about dollar sign CD pre? So that'll just give us that. Um, so we've got echo folder, CD pre, and then we want to have. A little bit of space. If I don't do a little space, it's going to put everything and cram it all up at the top. So let's just do echo. And we'll give this some space. And then we'll do lsd a. And then we'll do dash dash. Give it the color equals always. We always want color. And then we are going to do dollars or um, uh, double quotes, dollar sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Create the brace CD underscore pre, um, and then that, and then next, what we want to do is um, I want to be able to see what's in a file if it's a file, and I want to be able to see what's in the directory if it's a directory. So right now we've got the. 
um, directory. Uh, what if we have a file? So let's do txt. So if it's a text file, because if it's a binary file or whatever, it's just going to give you a bunch of jumbled mess. So if it's a text file, let's have a text file equal. Um, we're going to need to run some command here. So let's go ahead and do. Um, we'll use the file command. So let's do uh, double quote dollar sign. Um, and then in parentheses we'll do file. Um, so if the current selection is a file, we're going to pipe that into grep. Um, and then we're going to grep uh, capital T or lowercase t. So if it sees text in there, so we're going to grep text. Um, and we're going to pipe that into word count dash L. Um, close that off and so basically what this is going to do is um, if we text file variable is going to be running file on the current selection and then it's going to pass that into grep and it's going to check for the word text but it's capital or lowercase t um, if it sees it it's going to pipe it into word count and it's going to give us a return value so um, that should work. I guess we'll find out in a few minutes if it does or not. Um, so then we are going to uh, say if, let's see here. Uh, let's do this. If text file dash eq so if text file equals one so if it returns a value in that in this up here this text file grab and in, piped into word count um, then we want to use bat and we're going to give it the style equals numbers um, we're going to give it the dash dash theme equals ANSI. Uh, we'll give it dash dash color equals always, of course. And then the current, and then we'll give two dev null. So any errors that might pop up are just going to go to dev null. Um, and then else. I want to have um, image previews. Um, I've been working with UberZug on some other stuff, and I know that's been unmaintained. So there's this new project, UberZug PP, which supposedly is a drop-in, but I've been having issues with it working. Um, so I have messed around with Chaffa or Chaffa or however you pronounce it. So I think we'll just use that um, if I can remember the flags for it. Um, we'll do C H A F A. Um, what are the flags for it? I think dash C. For color, so we're gonna have full color dash color space. Um, I want it to be RGB dash dash dither, which is kind of the grain effect. I think we want none, and we want dash p on, and we want uh, what was the last one I used? Um, w. I think W nine. And then again, we're going to go to dev null, so that way we don't get any warning error messages or anything like that on there. Um, and then we will do phi, and then that, and that, and that should that should take care of the previews. I guess we'll find out here momentarily. But then I also want to be able to make a selection. So now we're going to do if, and we go dash, or has two square brackets dash D. So if it's a directory, um, so if the selection is a directory, is what we're doing here. Um, then we want. Uh, dev null cd and we want to cd into selection 
Um, and then else for now we'll just say break because I'm running out of time here. Um, so we'll finish that off. No, not file. Not text file either. I really don't like. I'm really starting to uh, get annoyed at some of this stuff, this file completion stuff. So now we've got that. So let's done. And that should come back here a little bit. Um, and then we should be able to close that. And then first things first, I want it to clear the screen and then we need it to run FZFM. And then escape and let's write. So let's see what we got here. So we have a function that's called FZFM for Fuzzy File Manager and it's gonna be a uh, while true, it's gonna be a do or a, uh, a while loop, excuse me. And so basically it's gonna give us a uh, FCF menu that is gonna be our current working directory that we're in. Um, it's gonna give us controls with the arrow keys up, down, left, and right to move up and down in the current directory and left and right out of and into the directories. Um, we're gonna have a preview window that should be showing us what's going on in the selection, whether it's a file, it should give us a preview of that file, or if it's a directory, it should give us a preview of what's in that directory. Um, and if it's an image, it should should view it for us. It should give us an image preview. Not a great one, obviously, because it's Chaffa and it's not uh, uh, Uberzug, but that should all work, I hope. And let's go ahead and um, write and quit. Uh, I know I already wrote, but and now we need to do a ch mod plus x on fzfm.sh. Let's go ahead and clear the screen. Actually, let's do just to see if the clear function works. So we're gonna get NeoFetch back up there. Um, actually not back up there because I haven't used NeoFetch in a while. I use my personal fetch tool, but now we are actually gonna run the FZFM fuzzy file manager and let's see what we got. So let's do dot slash FZFM.sh. Unsupported key, oh, we've got a typo now. So let's vim into FZFM.sh. Um, there we go, shift down should be shift down. <laughs> Um, and let's go ahead and write and quit. Um, and let's try that again, shall we? So let's hit enter. Okay, there we go. We've got our prompt over here that says search. Uh, so if I start typing in there, you can see we got typing going on there. Um, it does show our current working directory here. Um, and it shows, look at that, we've got some preview over here. Um, uh, let's go ahead and move to some images, so let's go to images. Um, let's go in there, and we're gonna have issues with that, I guess, at the moment. Let's go into pictures. Oh no, look at that, we got we got some crappy image preview, but, but it's image preview nonetheless. Uh, moving left takes us back up out of the current directory, dot config, so let's move right, goes into the directory, left goes out of the directory. Yeah, so okay, we have some, um, Issues with the actually seeing what's going on in directories, but as far as pre image preview with files go, it's working. Uh, so let's go ahead and escape out of there. Let's vim into FZFM real quick and see if we can't figure out what's going on with um, the image selection. Uh, so let's see here. Echo. So we've got What do we have going on here that is causing us some problems? Um, I know what we've got going on. It's this right here. So that should be a dollar sign. And we should have that going on. Okay, so that should take care of it. Not a pound sign, a dollar sign. Or hashtag or whatever you kids are calling it nowadays. So let's go ahead and right quit. Let's go no. And let's actually go back in and see if that... There we go. Now we have image preview of what is in the currently selected directory. So if we come down here to .config, we can see over here, we've got all this stuff on the right side of our screen. Now what happens if I do shift up and down? I should be able to scroll up and down in that screen. So let's do shift up and down. There we go, I can see. What if we go to a file? Um, let's go to, um, let's actually go into .config. 
and go into alacrity and we'll go to alacrity.toml and you can see we've got the image preview there so if i do shift and down i can scroll through that image preview so there we go that's pretty cool so um this is actually a pretty decent uh start to this file manager so let's just go ahead and leave it at that for today um i am definitely going to be adding on to this and uh, if you watched a couple years ago i did make uh, something similar to this called better cd i was trying to get functionality like zsh has into bash because i love bash so much and don't want to leave um and i started getting carried away with it and so that's what kind of gave me the idea to actually turn that better cd command which i started out as just that a cd command that gave me a little bit more um, but I have actually decided I want to turn that into a file manager. So here we are. Um, first steps of that happening, and it actually turned out pretty good. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you like it, if you don't like it, if you're bored with it, if this isn't something you want to see, uh, sorry, I'm going to be continuing with it. But uh, yeah, that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your evening. I want to say thanks to all you guys that support me and help support the channel. It is greatly appreciated. Um, I have uh, grown to three patrons now. I was going to mention your guys' names on camera, but I forgot to look at them again before I started this. Uh, video so I apologize I will get that up there because I want to thank you guys personally not just a generic thank you so uh, but that being said you guys have a great rest of your day great rest of your evening stay safe God bless